As these wider talks continue with that focus, of course, on the future of Gaza, Israel is also noting that it's gradually shifting its military attention to Lebanon. Meantime, memories of 2006 still quite fresh there, uh, when Israeli jets reduced entire towns and villages to rubble. Ben Wiedemann was reporting for CNN from Lebanon during that war and joins us uh, at this hour from Beirut. So in terms of this gradual shift in strategy, um, what is expected at this point? Well, oh, Erica, you know, since that war, both Israel and Hezbollah have been preparing uh, for the next one. Now, the concern both here in Lebanon and in Israel, if it comes to such a thing, a war, uh, that it could be much more deadly and destructive. This is Gaza today. And this was Beirut's southern suburbs, known as Adahia in 2006, following the 34-day war between Hezbollah and Israel. And from that ravaging of an entire densely populated neighborhood, where Hezbollah is based, came Israel's so-called Dahya Doctrine, a strategy of massive, disproportionate use of force, including targeting civilian populations and infrastructure. Until now, the conflict between Hezbollah and Israel has been largely limited to the south, Yet after the Israeli strike in late July on Beirut that killed a senior Hezbollah military commander and the group's vow to retaliate, war threatens to engulf the rest of the country. In the past few weeks, Israeli warplanes have frequently broken the sound barrier in the skies over Beirut, a grim warning to all Lebanese of what could come. A warning voiced Wednesday by Israel's defense minister. Our center of gravity, he said, is gradually shifting from the south to the north. The Dahya doctrine, for all intents and purposes, is being put into practice in Gaza, where tens of thousands have been killed and much of the strip reduced to ruins. Yet after almost 11 months of war, Israel has yet to achieve its goal of destroying Hamas. Hezbollah represents a far greater challenge to the Israeli military than Hamas, says analyst Ahmad Salami. Hezbollah will be commanding a very wide area. Hezbollah is much more equipped, much more capable, much more experienced than Hamas is. As Lebanon teeters on the edge of a broader war, there's a sense of resignation. Once they finish in Gaza, maybe they'll come here, Fuad tells me, adding, if they can finish in Gaza. Such apathy aside, the memory of past wars and the threat of yet another one loom large. And what we've seen is that there's also pressure growing on in Israel for some sort of action against Hamas. We've heard in the past uh, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant saying that if Hezbollah launches a war on Israel, a large war, a large attack, that Israel will turn Lebanon back to the Stone Age. But we've heard that uh, Itamar Ben-Gavir, the extremist Israeli national security minister, has tweeted out today a tweet focused at Gallant saying you promised to return Lebanon to the Stone Age, but instead you're returning the north, the north of Israel, to the Stone Age. Instead of attacking me on Twitter, start attacking Hezbollah in Lebanon. Erica. Mm -hmm.